Uh, well, it's, you know, it, it, the time's finally here for, for several months worth of hard work to, to, to pay off where, you know, you tell the players to all, all you do in the off season that now when you get to, to game time is, is really the reward for all the work that's been put in. And, uh, there has been a lot of hard work put in and, um, I'm pretty excited to see, to see what the product on the field looks like. Um, we return a lot of um, experienced leadership, and we have a really good mix of younger guys that um, that we're pretty excited about throwing into the fire as well. Um, it's been a really difficult schedule has been put together. Um, we're going to try to to build on some of the past success that, that the program's experienced, and um, hopefully take it to uh, to another level. So um, generally. We're, like I said, we're ready to get going and, um, you know, just a couple of days away from kicking it off. Coach, how would you describe your coaching style? My coaching style? Um, I, I would think a lot of people think I'm probably pretty difficult on a game day. Um, I'm pretty intense. Um, you know, we have, we have pretty high expectations. Um, and... It's my job to see that they get lived up to. Um, and, you know, generally, I like to play, base everything off of quality pitching and good defense. Um, and we certainly have both of those. So we're going to play to those strengths. Um, but it, it's sort of a, a mindset of just kind of keep your, keep your foot on the gas. I mean, I have to be pretty strict about my arm care and taking care of my body. You know, it's a long season, so I got to stay healthy and kind of take care of my arm and make sure everything's good throughout the whole season. All right. Coach, what are some things you think are essential for your team to the success of your team this season? First and foremost is the pitching staff. Um, it's going to be about as talented as any group that, that I've – seen either in my dugout or an opposing dugout. I mean, the the list of quality pitchers that we have probably extends six or seven deep. Um, so we're going to base everything we do around the pitching staff. Um, it's going to get, pitching and defense is going to get a lot of time in practice. Um, and it, it's sort of like I said earlier, whatever the strength of the team is, is sort of what we're going to play to. And it is, it is hands down, the pitching staff is the strength of it. Michael, what is your pregame song? Pregame song? Um, I don't know. We got, we got a lot of big music guys in the locker room. I just listen to whatever, whatever they be bumping before the game. <laughs> Jeff, what is, um, how do your teammates describe you? I'd say they would describe me as a leader who comes every day and puts the work in. I try to lead by example for them and kind of just do what's right and hope they follow. So. Um, how would you start your way of playing baseball? Um, kind of like what Coach was saying, just always full speed, 100%. Uh, keep your feet on the gas. Um, try and be a leader for some of the young guys that are going to uh, step up in some big roles this year. Give you guys some closing remarks on just the expectations of the season. Yeah, um, the expectations are to accomplish what the program has done in the past and take it to, you know, that next step. Um, with the talent, the resources, uh, the level of coaching that we have in our school, um, you know, anything short of a of a finals appearance is is going to be considered not meeting the, the expectations that we have. There's a high standard, and it's when these guys leave, whatever they leave behind, that standard and that expectation is going to continue to be there. Guys, any closing remarks? We're, just, we're coming to win, and we're trying to get better every day and stack good days on top of one another. So. You go, Jags. Right, thank you, guys. So much. Right. We appreciate it.